Hey everyone and welcome back to Coco's Cosmology and today's pick a card reading. This reading is for my Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising signs and in today's video I do have some new crystals. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so today's reading is going to be our August 2020 reading. All right, before we get right into the reading, I want to let you guys know that group number one is the Citrine Crystal. Group number two is the regular clear quartz crystal, and group number three is the fluorite crystal, okay? Before you pick your card selection, I want you guys to take a deep breath or pause the video and ask questions such as, what energy surrounds me during August 2020? What should I look out for during August 2020? And what energy surrounds me during August 2020? After you ask those questions, you guys can look down in the description box. I will have the links to the timestamps for each group, and I will see you guys in my next reading. Not in my next reading. <laughs> I will see you in your pick a card selection. All right, hi, group number one that chose the Citrine Crystal. Let's get right into your reading. This, this crystal is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. The camera's not doing it any justice. All right, let's get right into this. All right, so you guys have the Three of Swords. Okay. You have the Two of Swords. Okay, and you have Domestic Harmony. All right, okay. So let's get right into this reading. Okay, so with the Three of Swords energy and Two of Swords following it. Whew. With this Three of Swords energy during the month of August, you may be experiencing some type of heartbreak. You may be experiencing some type of sadness, some type of pain. Um, it may be depression that you may be going to going through, not going to, but going through. Um, or you may be facing the truth about something during the month of August 2020. And it may be some things that you're facing the truth about that you were denying at first. Or it may just be some things that's really coming into reality during the month of August 2020. Um, during the month of August 2020 with this card, with the Three of Swords, you want to release your emotions okay you want to release how you feel um you want and it could be any day you want to just take that pain away and just release it you know breathe in breathe out meditate let it all out because once you let it out and release that pain and that hurt um and that sadness when you release it it's going to give you clarity okay it's going to give you a stable mind, all right? And that's what you're going to be needing during the month of August 2020. Um, for some people, you know, they see this card um, and they get like love triangles. And it could possibly mean that, but that's not the energy I'm getting because I'm getting domestic harmony here. So I'm feeling like it may be some type of depression that you're going through, some type of emotions that you're going through, okay? Two of Swords, okay? Now, um, with this Two of Swords energy, during the month of August 2020, you may be indecisive about something. Now, this indecision may be causing this hurt because maybe you went with the wrong decision or the decision that you thought that was wrong, um, that wasn't best for you at the moment, okay? So, you may have made a too early of a decision and it didn't come out like how you thought it would and you know it's time for you to be patient with yourself you know don't be so hard on yourself you're trying to ignore the fact that these things are going on it may be making you feel some type of way during the month of august 2020 and this is for many people it can go either way heartbreaks depression um unexpected plans or you know facing the truth about something it could go either way for some of you guys so with this energy this domestic 
harmony energy i'm feeling like right now it's a great time for you to be loved on so if you are in a relationship you know um ask your partner for a little more attention a little more love a little more care because you're not feeling like yourself at the moment or you're not feeling you haven't been feeling yourself the month of august 2020 and you just need a little more attention or for the month of august 2020 you know the best way to get a little harmony or love if you're not in a relationship is from your family and your friends, you know. They could help you through this healing process. Maybe you need a good laugh, you know, a good bear hug, um, a good home-cooked meal, you know. Harmony and love doesn't always have to be intimacy. It can be platonic. It can be food, okay? It could be um, long talks and conversations with people that love and care about you and want the best for you, okay? Let's see what other energies are surrounding my Virgo sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? All right, so we have, look at the bigger picture, okay? This is just the moment, okay? This is just something that's occurring. In this moment right now okay virgos all right bring love into the situation yes you need to be loved on okay you need to be loved on and cared about and you need a little extra attention and it's fine it's fine for you to be grown and need a little extra attention it's fine for you to um, look at the bigger picture and you know after you bring this love into the situation with this domestic harmony whether it's from family friends or your spouse or your partner whoever it may be they may bring it to your light that hey this is the bigger picture okay maybe you think you failed but you didn't it was just another stepping stone for success okay Let's see what positive affirmations I have for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. I like this is coming out. This one. All right, we have loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself, okay? So are you not accepting yourself, okay? That's just the question um, that popped up for me. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I choose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free and I set myself free, okay? For some of you guys, you need healing from your parents, okay? from your parents. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I choose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free and I set myself free. All right, Virgos. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give this reading a thumbs up. Leave comments down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next reading. All right, hi, group number two that chose the clear quartz crystal. Okay, let's get into your reading. We've got the hair fan in reverse. We've got the seven of wands and we have number 48, financial discipline. All right, let's get right into this. All right, with the hair fan being in reverse, you know, during the month of August, 2020, you want to pay attention to the you want to pay attention to the advice. Pay attention to the advice that you may be receiving, that people may be giving to you. You know, like that unsolicited advice you didn't ask for. Pay attention to that. Um, pay attention to your finances, your assets, you know. Um, people may be looking at your finances, your assets. They may be asking questions about your finances or your assets during the month of August 2020 and pay attention, read the fine print, make sure nobody's trying to mislead you during the month of August 2020, you know, 
um, make sure nobody's trying to sell you something that's not good for you during the month of August 2020, okay? All right, with the Seven of Wands energy, all right? Now, Seven of Wands, <clears throat> this person is fighting, okay? So there's someone challenging them, and it could be this person that is this hierophant in reverse, okay? Now, this person may be fighting to get your money or to persuade you into purchase purchasing something, um, or they may be trying to get you to believe them. They're trying their hardest to reel you in. They're pulling more people as witnesses, okay, um, success stories or whatever. This is just an example, though, um, of what it could be. But you could relate it to your life. There may be somebody coming into your life trying to show you that, hey, this is my success story. This is what happened for me. And they're really like bombarding you and you're fighting for what you believe in. Or it may be with this hairpin being in reverse, somebody's trying to deter you from following your dreams, okay? And with the seven of wands, you're standing up for what you believe in or... <laughs> It's another another message I just got. This person with this hair fit in reverse energy could be someone who is trying to beg and ask you for money, okay? They're trying to persuade you. And you've already told them, no, you can't do it. I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't do it right now. And they're bombarding you. Hey, you got $50? You know, I'm just <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. You know, you may be experiencing those things right now, um, Virgo. And it's time for you to have that financial discipline. All right. All right. So with this 48, financial discipline. I would say continue to pay attention to your finances and your assets like i said with the hair fit being in reverse but also you know pay attention for those who are trying to make you make large investments regardless if you have it um just check on your savings you know just make sure it's not something that's going to get you into any legal trouble you know what i'm saying pay attention to it read the fine print Okay, Scorpios. Did I really say Scorpios? <laughs> Virgos. Oh my goodness, those O's get me. All right, so it may be a Scorpio that's trying to <laughs> get you to do that. Luck is on your side, okay? So follow your intuition. That's what I'm getting from that. Luck is on your side, okay? All right. And also, we have meditate and contemplate. So before you make any big purchases, make sure you meditate. Make sure you think about it. Um, make sure you get a second ear on it. Not from somebody that has a success story. But, you know, just try to do your research, you know. Everything is out there. There's resources out there for you to use for you to find out if somebody is legitimate or not, regardless if you know them, you know, do your research, all right? Do your research, all right? What positive affirmations do I have for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign? Okay, I be, ooh, y'all got three. It just came out, so we gonna fail. We gonna do this. I am willing to release old negative beliefs they are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. Wow, okay. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them, and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. And the last one, it is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. 
It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. That's what I'm talking about, Virgos, okay? Look, it's on your side. Meditate, contemplate before you make a huge decision. You know, you're releasing others to experiences, whatever is meaningful to them. And you're going to free yourself to create what is meaningful to you with this positive affirmation, okay? So, all right, you're releasing a lot of negativity around you as well, all right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading please give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, and last but not least, group number three that chose the fluorite crystal. Let's get right into your reading. <clears throat> wow, we've got the Ten of Cups energy, the Knight of Swords, and compassion. Ooh, what y'all doing? <laughs> what are y'all doing okay so with the ten of cups energy you guys are happy you're in love you're feeling the joy the harmony the balance the compassion okay everything in your life that is going on is so beautiful harmonious you know you're living that family life where it's just a lot of celebration it's a lot to be grateful for a lot of happiness going on a lot of gratitude a lot of abundance you know a lot of overflow of beautiful and happy emotions um celebrations okay that's what i'm getting everything right now is going amazing during the month of august 2020 i mean you may have a little bumps here and there i am so sick of this net they're trying to ruin our happiness virgos okay <laughs> and i just can't seem to kill it all right so with this knight of swords energy okay oh my goodness virgo like oh y'all giving me chills okay so with this ten of cups energy you're happy abundance like i'm just feeling abundance you know an abundance of things are happening for you abundant a lot of doors are opening for you and with this knight of swords energy you're very intelligent okay a hard worker go-getter happy successful you're doing you're charging into your dreams you're going straight head on for your dreams right now whatever it is that you're trying to manifest it manifest it is manifesting it is growing right now. The seeds that you planted last month, okay? I remember doing you guys' reading in May, starting a new business, you know, moving forward, charging into your dreams, head on, okay? And you have a lot of love and compassion behind you, okay? You've got a lot of compassion behind you. You've got a lot of people rooting for you. Um, you have a lot of people that do care about you, okay? You have, a, like, spiritual people in your corner. Yes, positive energy surrounding you, okay? A lot of people caring about your, um, your business. A lot of people caring about your career. A lot of people caring about your children, okay? Your family, your goals, okay? Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, Virgo. That's what I am talking about. Chase your dreams. Get that bag. Okay? All right. What energy is surrounding my Virgos during their successful August 2020 while they're leveling up? Okay? What is going on with my Virgos? Definitely a new start is coming. That's back of deck energy. <laughs> a time to give rather than to take. You're balling right now. You can give right now. Okay? You can give love and compassion. You can help people out like families. Okay? Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the divine. Because your dreams are coming true. Knight of Swords. You're surrendering, but you're going head on. You're not playing any games with anybody, Virgo. You said you wanted to manifest your dreams into a reality. You said that you wanted to start that business. You said you wanted to teach and take care of your children. You said you wanted to put your children in a better place, happier state. You want to be happy. You want to give more than you receive. You want to give love and compassion. You want to make people happy. All right, we've got one. 
All right, let's see what we're talking about. We've got divine peace and harmony surrounds me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion. What? I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. I feel tolerance and compassion and love for all people and myself included. What? Compassion twice? Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. And the last card, I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly, okay? I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.